We're in beautiful Cabo San Lucas, Mexico, and we are cooking in Cabo. Hi, I'm Donna. Welcome to this episode of Cooking in Cabo. Today we're in my kitchen and we are going to make some chili. So chili is one of those things that I have made for 30 years plus, and I've never really had a real re recipe per se. I've always just, uh, used some common ingredients but just kind of thrown it in, tasted, added here, there until I got it where I wanted it and I've never actually had a written down recipe that I use every time. But this year I've been uh, invited to participate in a chili cook-off and so I thought that I should probably hone my recipe and actually come up with a more set in stone recipe. So these are things that I typically use. Uh, we're going to try something a little new today. I normally use some ground sirloin, some chopped onion, a couple cans. I like to use the red kidney beans, some diced uh, tomatoes, some tomato sauce. Uh, typically I use some ch bought chili powder. Um, this year I have decided to make my own a chili powder blend. So this is a combination of uh, ancho, wajillo, arbol, and cascabel peppers uh, that I purchased dried. I roasted them for a few minutes in the oven, de-stemmed and de-seeded them, and then put them through a spice grinder, uh, essentially making my own chili powder. But you can use commercial chili powder, no problem there. So I have two tablespoons of this chili powder blend. I have uh, two teaspoons of paprika, a teaspoon and a half of cumin, uh, a teaspoon of a white, black, and red uh, peppercorn mix, a teaspoon of garlic, uh, granulated garlic, and a tablespoon of salt. And this is what we're going to use as the base uh, starting off point for our chili. So let's go ahead, we're gonna put a couple tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil in our pot and get our onions and meat cooking. So this is just one uh, medium sized uh, coarsely diced onion. We're gonna just stick it right in there. And once that begins to cook, we'll add the beef. Okay, onions are cooking. This is just about, about a pound and a half of uh, ground sirloin we're just going to add to the pot. Okay, so we've got our uh, ground sirloin cooked fairly well with our onions. We're going to go ahead and add our beans and the rest of our liquids and then we're going to work on those wajillo chilies. So to this ground beef and onions, I'm adding two cans of red kidney beans. These are 30 ounce cans. Not going to drain them, just going to dump them right on in there. Certainly you can cook dried red kidney beans if you prefer that. Uh, it's just easier for today's purposes to use the canned ones. I'm going to add a couple of cans of chopped uh, diced tomatoes. I'm going to add those seasonings, the three, uh, two tablespoons of the pepper blend that I made, a teaspoon of uh, granulated garlic, a tablespoon of salt, a teaspoon of a black, white, and red pepper blend, two teaspoons of paprika, and a teaspoon and a half of cumin. Cumin gives us that nice smoky flavor that we like. I'm going to add uh, about a half a cup of tomato sauce and give this a stir, see what it looks like add a little bit more, maybe another half cup of tomato sauce. Okay. 
I'll let that cook for a few minutes and then give it a taste and see what it tastes like uh, and see if we need to make any adjustments. And in the meantime, I'm going to work on uh, these Wahio peppers and trying to get a pepper sauce going with that. Uh, we may want to throw in a couple of bay leaves. So I'm trying to perfect my chili recipe here. Like I said, I've made chili for years, but never actually had a set in stone recipe. And in trying to change it up a bit and make something new living here in Mexico, I thought I would make a Wajillo pepper sauce to add to, uh, to this chili and see what kind of effect that has. So I have my blender here. I have about a half a cup of water I'm gonna add to that. And I have uh, about six or seven Wajillo peppers. These peppers come dried um, and I have just uh, de-seeded them stem them and have been soaking them in water for about 30 minutes and I'm just going to add these right to the blender and liquefy them and then strain them and see if we can make uh, a pepper sauce out of them. I'm just going to put them right in there with the water. You want to be fairly careful not to splash this in your face or in your eyes. They're fairly strong. The Wajillo peppers are a medium heat pepper. They're not severely hot, um, but they're, they're a medium heat pepper. So we'll see what they do. I'm gonna just go ahead and put this on high and see if we can just blend them. Okay, so we blended this for about a minute, minute and a half. Uh, it's fairly thick. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and strain it and see what we get here. So I am just going to pour it through a small strainer. So this is our strained Wahio pepper uh, sauce here. I ended up putting about um, two thirds of a cup of water uh, in with the peppers. It's fairly thick pepper sauce. It smells pretty good. Um, I guess if we were really brave, we could take a taste and see what it tastes like. This is straight up ground Wahio pepper and water. Um, so I'm not that brave, so I'm just gonna do a toothpick taste here. See how hot it is before we decide how much of it we're gonna add to our pot of chili. So it has a nice flavor and it's not at all hot, which is a little bit surprising. I thought it would be a little hotter. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and add this and I may taste the, um, taste the chili after I've added it and I may go ahead and add some cayenne pepper as well because this really is not as hot as I anticipated, but that's okay. So this is, a I don't know, about three quarters of a cup. I will probably give it a stir here and then add about half of it and see uh, what it tastes like. So just getting going, the chili has a great flavor. Um, it's not too spicy. Uh, it does have a little bit of spice, not really a lot of heat, um, but a little bit of uh, spiciness from the peppers. So when you want to add just heat, you use cayenne. So I'm going to put about a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper in this chili pot and let it cook for a while and see how it tastes. Okay, so in the end we ended up with a really delicious bowl of chili. I ended up putting all of that Wajillo pepper sauce into the pot. I added a teaspoon of ground black pepper and a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper for a little bit of heat and I ended up adding about another cup of tomato sauce to the uh, to the mix 
So really delicious chili. I think this is going to be what I used for the chili cook-off. Um, so thanks for joining us. You can find this recipe on cookingincabo.com. Uh, join us again for more episodes like this. Subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Follow us on Twitter. Like us and share us with your friends on Facebook. And please consider supporting us on Patreon.